Get out the duct tape. Our first damage to this rig. Uh. <laughs> I am Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who when faced with mounting health challenges decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. <laughs> that was crazy. We just, we just met Wayne and Peggy from Texas. They recognized us from YouTube. That was both flattering and a little bit scary. We're introverts. But Wayne and Peggy were awesome. It was nice to meet you guys. You remember Steve Martin and the jerk? He got in the phone book and he's like, I'm somebody, I'm somebody. And it didn't work out too good for him after that. Thanks to Wayne and Peggy for the beaver nuggets. We'll take them on the trip with us today. Let's run away. Goodbye, Colorado, and hello, Kansas. We lost what only we know. Find our saving grace. On the streets made of gold. Welcome to Dodge City. 99 degrees at almost 6 o'clock in the evening and the RV is like a sauna. We're leaving early to try to beat this big storm that's coming in with really bad cells. Hoping we have an okay travel day and we can get ahead of, ahead of this storm. So here we go. You can see over here it's a good thing we're going because everything it takes to make a tornado is coming this way this afternoon this is going to be in a hot spot but we're going to be out of here yeah i think we've had enough tornadoes for uh, one year let's try to avoid tornadoes for the rest of this year please have you seen those videos Probably spent a hundred hours painting those barns there. The rusty looking grain elevator, that one actually ended up at a show in Denver and we just passed it and it's still standing strong. They don't, they don't make them like they used to. All right, we made it to Odessa, Missouri. Long day, but we beat the weather. I'm headed up to Owl Creek Market at our campground. They have fresh homemade cheeses. Chocolate cheese fudge. Have you ever tried chocolate cheese fudge? They have all kinds of snacks. They have clothes, they have antiques, they have ice cream. They, it's so cute, it's so good. Our grainscape, just you and me. Living in a daydream. That's good cheese. It's better than your average Joe. One thing about sharing uh, our journey with y'all is that sometimes we get to meet ya. Yeah. Today's one of those days. We are going to get a chance to meet one of our fellow YouTubers. Both Craig and Shelley are photographers, and Craig's YouTube channel is about photography, but they just got a Grand Design travel trailer, so I think there's some adventure photography trips in their YouTube future. Hey everybody. Hi. <laughs> Check out their channel. I'll put it right here. Right over here somewhere, probably. <laughs> right here? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's time to hit the road again. We had a fun visit with Craig and Shelly, and we're onward and upward, literally. We're going to start turning upward north today. We can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else. Welcome to Illinois. And we also just passed a sign for the world's largest shoe, the world's largest mailbox, and the world's largest rocking chair. But Scott wouldn't let us stop to see him. He said it was a gimmick. Have, have you seen the world's largest shoe, mailbox, and rocking chair? 
If so, let me know below. I, I, I'd love to know what I'm missing out on. I-70 got really rough at the Indiana border. I'm hoping that's not a bad scene. <laughs> Pretty handy little tool here. Just checking the uh, hub temperatures, make sure nothing's rising. We're just about ready to clock our 350th mile, and that means time to stop for the night. Ready? I'm gonna get on my RV Life Trip Wizard and see what there is around us. This one looks good, and they have four sites left. Thank you, RV Trip Wizard. Burn in daylight. We were hitting these potholes so hard that the expletives were rolling off my tongue with increasing regularity all the way to the border. We hit the Ohio border and we've got brand new asphalt. Welcome to Ohio. I like the high flow nozzles. I uh, pumped 16 gallons in in a, like a minute. How much did that cost? Not a lot. 100 bucks. I spent 100 bucks in a minute. And they they have a $200 limit on here, which usually it's 150 or 175, and they, it seems like they haven't raised them since the uh, big jump in prices, which means. Just to fill the tank up a lot of times, I've got to put the card in twice, or I've even done it three times. When we set out on this trip, we kept hearing reports that there may be diesel outages, diesel shortages. I haven't seen anything like that yet. Anyway, it's a good idea just to keep both tanks topped off. When we're topped off, that gives us about two days worth of traveling, which it's kind of comforting to have that extra tag. So what happens when you try to work your rig into a spot that's too tight? This is what happens. Yep, we just busted a hole in the front cap. Get out the duct tape. Our first damage to this rig. Uh. <laughs> and we got to get out of here without doing it again. <sighs> All right, well, we're parked. Might as well relax and get the duct tape out and put it over the hole. In the big scheme of things, that's nothing. But it sucks because that's the first thing we've done to this rig. And I don't know how we're going to get out of here. The turnaround's too small. It's... Uh, going to be like an eight point turn to get out of here. I think we're going to have to get out the same way that we came in, but this time don't do any body damage. Well, all in the name of RV, RVing, we're going to just relax and realize the error of our ways. Have you done this to your RV? So we'll have to get a little fiberglass repair going at some point in the future, but not, not anything we need to worry about right now. It's not like structural or anything. It's just doesn't look pretty. We're debriefing here the error of our ways. One was both of our guts were saying walk down and see if we can actually fit once we saw how cluster tight it was in here and how much trouble other people were having. We couldn't see our section, but we were both feeling like we should go assess the situation first. The second thing was it was between this or the KOA directly across the street. The KOA's cheapest site was $78. This was $30 and we've been spending a lot of money on campgrounds that are easy to pull in and out of on the way here and I'm like why would I pay $75 when I can have this for $30. And now it just ended up costing us however much it's going to cost to repair the fiberglass on the front of our cap. And the other thing that we learned is 
Google Earth. We didn't take the time to look at Google Earth and zoom in down here to see how it looked. And I had no idea that there was any way for our cap to hit our truck. And it, what it did was it hit the um, fuel tank, the, you know, extra auxiliary fuel tank. We've never ever come close to hitting anything. I didn't even know it was possible, but it was because of the angle we were coming in and the slope. So now I know I have to look at that too when he's backing in. Our next door neighbor, Chris from Wisconsin, thank you for the New Glarus Brewing Company Spotted Cow beers that are only sold in Wisconsin. I'll look forward to that. Nice to wake up in nature. I'm not sure if it was worth the hole in the front cap though. Maybe it was. Does it feel good to be in nature a little? Yeah, yeah. Feels good to just not be moving for three nights. Feels like a luxury. How was that shower? It was good. It was nice to have room. You might be wondering why we're taking showers outside of the RV. Number one, because we stayed here longer than expected and we have no water in our tank. Number two, our hot water still smells like rotten eggs. I think that we uh, we didn't leave the hydrogen peroxide in long enough, maybe. Anyway, but yeah. I mean, we've used campground shower houses before. We were full timers, but we haven't since. So I just had my first uh, shower house shower and it was pretty good. I might do that more often. I had room to spin. It was warm. It was private, like from the outside. Your the whole You could have had a party in there. And I had a little friend in there with eight legs staring at me the whole time. We had a nice three night stop here at uh, Mount Gilead State Park, uh, north of Columbus, Ohio, and south of Cleveland. They have about 60 sites here, electric only. We're gonna go ahead and use the uh, dump station as we leave. And we got about a four hour drive and that's it. All right, let's see if we can get out of here with no damage. Every time you open this up, you need to be careful because if there's pressure in there, that will spray all over you. I open it very slowly and then if it's dripping, I want my hose to be all hooked up and ready and I can catch, I can catch it in there. But why would it be full? No, the pipe should not be full, but if you have any blockage in the valve at all, it could seep. You could have some either gray or black seeping out. Just some drippage? Everybody learns that the hard way. We're really sad we didn't get to see our friends, Chuck and Sherry. If you haven't checked out their channel and root with Chuck and Sherry, they're Ohioans. Is that what you say, Ohioan? They have a little awesome rugged trailer and they check out all the parks here. They go camping every weekend and other places, but um, they're a lot of fun. And we were hoping we'd get a meet up with them, but it just didn't work out and that's the way it goes sometimes. So when the stars and planets align, I'm sure the day will come and we will have some fun. Yeah, I made a rhyme. I made a rhyme right there. All right, we're out of here. Holy oh, cow. Well, we're pulling on through. That, oh, the Ooh. trailer just bottomed out. Ooh, what was that? That was their trailer that just sound good. bottoming out. <clears throat> Guess we better sign off and see if they need help.